Alright guys, Shaggy here, how are you going today? Just back with another quick little video. Well, it's not going to be quick, it's probably, it'll be quick. Because I need to go out in like 10 minutes. Um, and this one is going to be a little bit deeper than um, some of the other ones. Not really, it's just going to be about what like snowboarding and stuff is to me. Because, oh wow, wow, wow. Um, because snowboarding is a massive part of my life, it's like a, it's a huge passion, and like, I, this, it, in Australia we don't get a lot of snow, um, as you might be able to figure out because it's a big country and it's really burnt and hot, it's really hot, always hot, apart from this past week it's been really rainy and, oh wow, well, I'm bad at this game, um, yeah, it's been really rainy and shit. But yeah, okay. I'm just going to first start off with a bit of my snowboarding history. I started snowboarding all oh, in was like 2010, I think. 2011. When the first time I hit the slopes. And I was rubbish. Um, as every all the first times are. and But I stuck at it. And I've been snowboarding ever since. And then I, and I started competing in 2013 in racing. And I really only did the racing just to get more time on snow, because it was fun. But 2013 wasn't a good year on the racing front for me. Um, in my first race ever, which was uh, Border Cross, look it up if you don't know what it is. It's cool. Um, I managed to catch a heel edge going over a roller, which is what I've, it's been filled in for me. Caught my heel edge going over a roller, and... Uh, Smack my head on the ground and knock myself out, get myself a concussion, and crack my tailbone. Which isn't fun to do sit ups and poop with, it hurts. Um, and then I had a day between my next race, which was the docks. Like, I don't want you doing that race, but I was, I was always going to do the race. Pfft. Young and dumb, as they say. Um, and did that and then die and that was the biggest thing like it was this one was a second run like two run it was a GS event um so you go around the gates um and I, I didn't die on the first run and that was I like, got rid of all the nerves and like I beat my beat my my time by like 12 seconds or something on the second run so like, I would have had a fairly decent run score um oh well um if I didn't concussed myself and wasn't scared but yeah so that's me and then I've snowboarded ever since and been really into freestyle snowboarding and like I so I wanted to push it to that top level but some stuff sort of happened and it just sort of wasn't oh yeah it wasn't 100% viable um which was oh well shit happens eh um but okay now on to the the part I love about snowboarding and this is going to be the main part of the video oh first of all I ride the board I ride if you guys are, like snowboarding and stuff I ride a Burton process 150 so oh, Evan or six or six right, something 160 ish something it's about right it's big. <laughs> um, and that's a really mint board I love it heaps it's, oh, it's so much fun that snowboard like it's so much fun. <laughs> um, it's like got the perfect amount of flex. It's cambered so it actually like sticks off a jump and you can ride on the iciness of Buller and the mountains we have here because we just get ice and slush. We don't actually get snow. Um, so that's a mad board. I love it. I got it last year. Um, and oh, Woo! Frames! And it's just... I've got, a, I've got an erection just thinking about it. Not actually. That's weird. Okay, now onto the more the deeper deeper side of the video, dude. I'm gonna shred the gnar. And this is just like what's like snowboarding is to me. And the reason I love snowboarding so much is that it's really one of the only places in the earth and the universe where I feel ultimately like happy and satisfied, if that's the right word. And it's like 
you can forget about everything that's going on in the world and just focusing on that next turn or that ne next box or that next run, that next jump, that next little little jib or whatever you're going to do. That's what's so cool about snowboarding for me. And it's Travis Rice put it like this. I um, mean, it was a video. It was about this... Uh, Ugandan snowboarder he was going for the Olympics and stuff and Travis Rice put it like this it's we you have mountains and in summer they're really untouchable apart from high hills and that's just hard work and then there's white stuff the snow falls from the sky and blankets these mountains and we've built these tools to surf down them and what these tools will allow us to do is have a prolonged state of creativity, of individual creativity. And that's the, well, that's the best thing about snowboarding and snow sports himself. Because that's really what it is. It's like in the real heart of that snowboarding and all skiing culture, it's not judgmental. It's about everyone just loving the mountains, loving being outside, and loving just being creative in whether it the way you ride, the way you dress. You have the people that are really pricks, that just are really judgmental and oh, snobby. But that's not what it's about. It's really like... It's a, it's the prolonged state of creativity that where you can just surf down this mountain and make those perfect turns that just feel like amazing. Especially in fresh snow. If you guys haven't ridden before, or you've ridden but it hasn't been in fresh, like, fresh snow, I'll tell you a story. It would have been 2014 season. I was up at up at Mount Bula for and Falls Creek, two mountains that two of the more popular mountains in Victoria. Um, and in, for the first, I was there across it was across a week. So the first sort of three days, I was at Bula. Snow was average, apart from the second day where it just it dumped down for our our kind of like. Uh, what we're used to, you know, in like like <laughs> like twenty centimeters of snow, we're like, "Pow, day, whoa!" Um, but it was one of the best snow we'd ever had, and that happened for three days in a row. We got twenty centimeters, like we got sixty centimeters over three days, and me and my friend, um, there's this sort of tree line area where it's just a lot. It's just a lot of really. It's called Bonza Country. Whatever that means. And there's this one chair that runs this whole area. And there's just a whole bunch of trees. And it's really untouched. Apart from the one main run, which is clear. And we would spe we were spending lift open to lift close over there. Just really slashing this fresh stuff. And going as fast as we possibly could. And having a ball. Like one time, one run I remember I just got stuck in these trees. And I had to, had to hike it out, and my mate got down at the bottom. He's a much better skier than I am. I'm bored up, but he's just, he's good. He's, um, he's sort of one of the best in the, in the state when we're competing. Um, <laughs> and he got to the bottom, he's waiting for me, and he's like, hmm, okay. And he just sees me hike out, and have, I sort of fall down this hill type thing. It would have been an em embankment that was, embankment that was probably 12 foot high. And I just sort of fall down that, and he's just like, that's awesome. <laughs> Like, it was, it just got, I don't know, it was cool. It was cool for me. Um, okay, where, where else am I going with this? Oh, I just crashed looking at my notes. That's terrible. Okay, I'm going to move on to what sort of, ah, there's two, two more points in this that I'm, uh, what, why screw around with these menus that I'm going to go and talk about. And that, this next one is in relation to freestyle, and... The freestyle scenario, like we just had X Games, and the Australians took four medals from X Games, which is mad. Slate it. Um, but for what freestyle allows, it allows that next level of creativity. Because no one's going to do a trick the same, like identical. Someone's going to tweak it out differently, or write a box a certain way, or t just... It's that next level of personal creativity that also like Travis Rice was talking about of making that turn and the way you write it's because that's all it's about it's why like who cares what other people think about how you write it doesn't matter like go out and write if you want to just ride green runs all day every day do that have fun with that shred that 
show them, show all the little newbies what you're doing. But the freestyle is that personal progression. And it's also good with mates, is another thing. <laughs> Just going out and you and a whole bunch of mates pushing each other trying to do a trick. And it's that, okay, I'm going to keep going, keep going, t keep doing this. My mates are going to help me and film. That was terrible. Help me and whether it be from filming and or whatnot to help you get this trick dialed. Whether it's just you're going for a competition or just that, because that personal progression, because that feeling of landing a trick or doing a set of turns perfect, and you're like, okay, it's accomplishment, it's self accomplishment that's really driving and really motivating, especially, pardon me, when you work really hard for it. Um, and that that's the awesome part about the freestyle snowboarding. It's not the like the scene, it's a little bit can be judgmental and it's, it can be at stale with the high level progression. But you look at, you look at guys like you look up guys like Sage Kotzenberg, Haldor Helgerson, I think he's, that's his last name. Go look, like, Sage won the Olympics just because of the way his style was and it was so individual and he wasn't doing anything like anyone. He was grabbing differently, doing different tricks, and that's why he won. So that's what I want you to go go look at those guys. Are mad. They're just they're nutters. Um, and this last bit is that it teaches you um, it teaches you to never give up and to be persistent but yeah it teaches you to never give up keep persist keep persisting in what you want to do whether it to be doing a trick or doing a whole run without falling on your bum or whatever it is and that's the other side of it. It's really not the advertised side of it. But it's what it teaches you. Deep, deep down. Like, just to go out on the shit days. The ones where it's pissing with rain, it's cold, it's windy. Like, especially here in Australia, I have to make the most of my time up there. Because I think I get probably, on a good season, I'll get, in a good season, I'll, where I get have time. This is during school. I'll have more time to go up there with uni and whatnot now. Um, it's gonna get some money to you. Um, I'd get probably maybe 10 to 14 days tops. That's a huge amount. On snow. And, well, and it's conditions permitting as well. Like, went up last year and we had nothing. And there was just a tr little track open on the main strip. And it was just, it was a bit depressing. 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 Because we just weren't, like, Mother Nature wasn't delivering on what we really wanted, which was just piles and piles of snow. But that's, that's alright, that's part of it. Um, oh, hello puppy! Um, my dog just came in. But yeah, it teaches you to get up when you get knocked down. Because that's, when you're, especially when you're, when you're going into freestyle, like, hitting boxes and boxes, boxes for days and days, you're gonna fall off, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get knocked down, it's gonna get frustrating. And you're going to get so sore, but you've got to pick yourself up the next day and go again. Pick yourself up the next day and go again. And never give up. you got to keep going. Keep trying. Because that's that's how you accomplish these really, really great things in these sports. Because they're hard. you just got to stay persistent. That's what it teaches you. Especially kids from a young young age where they get good. Oh, I actually I don't, just agree, I don't agree with what you said, but... If you learn it like when I did, when you're, what was I, 14 or something, 13 when I started learning, so I understood it all, and I stood the pain, and like, I wasn't just, I wasn't, wasn't up there every weekend, but it's like, okay, I'm going to commit to this, I'm going to do everything I can to commit to this, and that's what's sick about it, that's what I love about it, it's that combination of that progression, and that happiness, and that forgetting the problems essentially in the world like think about it when you're in the chairlift but when you're riding you're just focused on making that next turn and making it as perfectly as you can and that's what's so beautiful about it like if you, any of you ever get the chance to go ride and go shred do it, do it in a heartbeat it's going to be cold, it's going to suck the first couple of times you do it but you'll get the hang of it if you keep persisting and that's awesome so, I'm just gonna, gonna wrap the video up here. It's been like 15 minutes. So, I really hope you enjoyed it. Just a little bit of a chit chat about snowboarding because it's winter in America, summer here, and I'm dreaming about snow. 
watching these videos and playing this game. <laughs> it's the closest thing I have. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you smash the like button, subscribe, whatever. Give me some advice. I'm sorry if you can hear the keyboard in the background. It's really loud, well, mechanical keyboard. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Peace!